This is the technology age, and children that are born within this period are usually referred to as technology children or tech kids. What is technology? Technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially in the industries. My parents had always told me that when I was a child, I'd cry over laptops, gadgets in general, requesting for it instead of a normal toy. And it's common with children nowadays, children preferring gadgets over toys. As I was growing, I would love to follow my father to his supermarket. And while I'm there, I'll get familiarized by the computers he was using to sell and the applications in them. One of it is Atrex. Atrex can do a lot of things. It's a point of sale software that can produce balance sheets and can keep track of the money the user is making and many more. Because of my interest in technology, I was recently enrolled in a computer school and there I was learning programming and coding. Yes, programming. It's the process that software developers use to instruct the computer on what to do and how to do it. While coding, a set of specific algorithms given to the computer or anything in general. Programming and coding are what people use to create apps and websites that are making billions in the world today. They use programming languages like Java and MySQL. Technology is solving the world's problems because there are many problems in the world today. Problems like energy, communication, and even transportation. On the issue of energy, technology had already brought about renewable or clean energy sources. For example, solar energy, energy gotten from the sun using solar panels and inverters, energy gotten from the wind using turbines. Did you know that 60% of the energy used in Scotland today is gotten from the wind? And there's bioenergy, energy gotten from natural degradable substances like refuse dumps. Uber and Bolt, they are transportation companies, but they don't own a single car. They operate using an app that is connected via satellite and uses GPS signals. How does it work? You stay at the comfort of your home, open the app, request for a driver. He or she will come and take you to your desired destination. That is technology solving the problem of something like of solving the problem of transportation. Bolt was recently launched in my home state capital, Lokoja, about a month ago. They're trying to expand their brand, help people solve their problem of movement in the world. And I'm sure Bolt will be in many more places. Before, you could communicate with a friend or a family member, but it isn't as frequent as people can now because of technology. There are social media apps. Facebook is an online app that helps you post videos or pictures of your recent activities and help you communicate with your families and your friends. It's owned by Mark Zuckerberg, which he made at the early age of 19 when he began his journey to becoming one of the world's billionaires. Alongside him, WhatsApp, an encrypted chatting app, that means the security is awesome. It helps you communicate with your families and your friends real time, whether by calls or by video calls, using your cellular data or Wi-Fi. That is technology solving the problem of communication. Recently, COVID-19 came and people could not meet physically. But within that period of time, technology had filled the gap. Zoom meetings and Google Meet are apps and websites that people use to conduct meetings easily with no stress. Because of that, people started working from home. Considering the fact that school people could not meet physically, schools were shut down. But they didn't relent in their effort to educate their students. They had brought about e-learning, electronic learning, whereby students and pupils will use their gadgets to learn, whether by using apps or websites. My school, Shiny Star, was one of the first schools I know that partook in the involvement of e-learning.
We used apps like OP365 and Microsoft Teams. And believe me, it was a breeze. People that own such apps or websites are making billions per user. Technology is, not, is something passed down from generation to generation, like genetics. Like from the early men that discovered fire from when lightning struck the trees and it began to burn, and they discovered a way of using twigs and stones to make it, and it kept improving. Now there were lanterns to candles to matchsticks that used charcoal, and now blowtorches that use a type of renewable energy, gas. That is the evolution of technology. Tim Bensley, the creator of the World Wide Web, also known as WWW, said, and I quote, the web, as I envisaged it, isn't something to only be used now, but also in the future. What is he trying to say? Technology is a continuous process that we kids can continue, and even adults too, because I'm sure they still have a long way to go in life. So nothing should hold you back from interacting with the technology age using technological gadgets. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, said, and I quote, even when I die, my brand will still be one of the leading technology brands in the world. And it is. Apple is leading the world with awesome gadgets like phones, iPads, iPods, and even laptops. That is technology, creating inventions that are helping solve the world's problems. In the agricultural sector, technology, engineering technology has brought about machines that can help increase farm yield and process food more. Machines that can help till, harvest, and weed the ground. That is technology, solving the problem of something as essential as food. There are now banking apps, apps that could help you transfer money, apps that can help pay to your annual or monthly subscriptions, apps that can buy or send airtime. What are banks trying to do? They're trying to make their services more accessible for their clients. And there are now workout apps, apps that can help keep track of your daily workout routine, from your waist control to your steps and your kilometers. Yes. Everything that has advantages also has disadvantages. But as many as the disadvantages are, you won't even be able to recognize that there are disadvantages. One of the disadvantages is addiction. But parents can help monitor the child's usage of their gadgets, whether phones or laptops. And that is solving the problem of addiction. When I grow up, I would like to become an accountant or an economist. I've already started downloading apps that can help keep track of currency exchange so that when I grow up, I'll be able to financially advise people to better their businesses so that I can make money and help them. My career aim is to use gadgets to modulate the whole operations in the financial sector. So, I'm presently planning to create an app that I'm sure will solve a particular problem of yours and will make billions for me and my associates. Lastly, I advise everyone listening today to show more interest in technology because technology is changing the world and will continue to for as long as man is in existence. Thank you.